Hey guys, it's Jake Weens, and I'm here to show you guys my latest design with Grain Theory. This is my TC design. And as you can tell, it looks like a blast from the past. And that was my full intention with this Kandama. As Kandama has progressed, so has the design, and everything keeps getting more and more complex and more and more design elements on the Tama. I wanted to bring it all the way back to the early days of solid colors. Red is the quintessential Kandama color. Whenever I think about a Kandama, this is what I think about. So I really wanted to bring it back to that. So as you can see, we have a classic Kandama, beech wood handle, and that red paint on top. But while it might look like an OG Kandama, we've got this on the new GTTC shape, as well as that sticky paint on top. So you're gonna be able to slap those lunars, hit those stalls, and get those Ken flips. Let's take a look at this Kandama. One of the other small details with this is I chose to put just a classic white string on it. Again, my goal was to recreate the Kandama that I first started off with way back in the day in 2008. So we got our red ball here, 23 millimeter bevel, sticky paint, classic red. And if you look in that bevel, of course we got those GT calipers. Now we're gonna take a look at the Ken here. Beechwood is what Kandamas, at least from what I remember, were always made of. So of course I wanted to keep it beach. We got the GTTC shape here, which, which features really nice size cup, 16 centimeter can, which is also very classic, but we also have that wormhole alternate stringing method up here. Design wise, I kept it super minimal. So I did the seal down here. This is one of the ways that I've always drawn a Kandama and I wanted to put it on a seal. Whenever you try and put a sticker on a swoop, it doesn't work out too hot, right? So these guys are actually pad printed on here. It's gonna stay on, it's never gonna peel off, you're ready to shred. If you look underneath the cups here, we've got the caliper under here, pad printed as well, and then my little signature right here under the cup as well. And if you look in the base cup, you're gonna see some writing around the base cup hole here for balance. We've got remember the past, create the future in both English and Japanese. Because for me, the more I played Kendama, more I would dig deeper into the past of Kendama. And you'll find a lot of really interesting trick concepts from previous years in Kendama. And the amazing thing to do is take those trick concepts and push them one step further. So by remembering and going deeper into the past, you can create the future through using that as inspiration. And that's just what I've done here. I've taken the past and I've created something straight into the future. This is my latest design with Grand Theory. This is the GTTC JW. Hope you guys enjoy it. Take a blast from the past and make it yours. Go cop one available now on GrainTheory.com. Thank <laughs> you.